see tonight that needs improvement? Oh, there was a lot of things that needed improvement. You know, we, we just didn't get to play enough scrimmages this fall because of the injuries to our pitchers and because there was so much rain. But I will say this, that tonight I saw a lot more positives than I saw negatives. I, I, thought, that was, I thought our team played really great in a lot of aspects. I think tonight you saw the difference that a jo healthy Josh Smith makes for a team. And I think you saw, you know, what Watson's capable of doing and Cabrera and, you know, a lot of good stuff. There was a lot of great stuff here tonight. And, uh, you know, those are the things that, that I'm pleased with. I just wish we could have played another, I don't know, 30 or 40 innings of scrimmage baseball because all those mistakes that the young players made, we could have been correcting all along. So now, you know, we're going to, we'll switch our attention to, January and early February leading up to February 15th and we're just going to have to do a lot of work and, and, and make a lot of improvement during that time uh, you know make the corrections that need to be made you know in, in the preseason I thought you know the, the way the game ended was was you know it was exciting and it was uh, created a lot of spirit among the teams you know the purple team had a tremendous comeback I know, you know, the student manager misplayed the ball, but it was a great at bat by Duplantis. He hit that ball hard, and be before that, we had good at bats, and then, of course, you know, the gold team came back. So it was a, it was one of the best purple versus gold World Series championship games I can ever remember, and everybody had a lot of fun. It was super to have all the former players back here. We had recruits in the stands. The kids are doing an autograph session with the fans. We had a nice crowd tonight. It was a beautiful night. It was a great warm-up for the big Alabama football game tomorrow night. You know, it got everybody excited. and It was a really good way to end fall practice. So I'm as confident today as I was in the summer press conference about the quality of our team. The key is going to be to get the pitchers healthy and to pitch at a really high level. Because I think our, posi our, our lineup at position players is going to be really strong. There's a couple areas I'm still a little bit concerned about, but overall, I think we're going to have a really good team. So, great way to end fall practice. What are the main takeaways from tonight? The what? The main takeaways? Well, I mentioned Josh Smith, healthy, played great. I thought Brock Mathis did a, an awful lot of great things tonight. He blocked the ball well. He, he had some big at-bats. Of course, Giovanni hitting the walk-off home run. What a thrill for that, that young guy. Uh, I thought Zach Watson hit the ball extremely well. Bram Broussard played a good, solid game. You know, Hal missed the pop-up, but he made a couple good plays on defense. Uh, you know, Beloso hit one ball good. You know, there, there, were, some, there were some real good things. There, I mean, it's hard for me to remember every thing that happened over nine innings uh, without looking at a box score. But there, there were a lot of good takeaways, like I said. You know, it wasn't a perfect game, but how can it be perfect? One team has to win and one team has to lose. So somebody has to do something not good, whether it's a pitch or a bat or whatever, play in the field. But overall, I, I can't tell you how pleased I am. I thought tonight was exactly what we needed to finish fall practice. I think you buried the lead a little bit. Huh? I think you buried the lead a little bit. Buried? The, the, left, the kid, the caps the kid made in left field. The student <laughs> manager. Yeah, it was really the highlight of the day to me. Any of them getting roster spots? Which which game? Which bat? The purple kid. Yeah, the purple, purple left field manager. Yeah, which the diving pitch he made. Like, oh, early in the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. ZJ. Yeah. The spot. Yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, we've got the most athletic uh, managerial staff in the country. These How much scouting goes into that? Yeah. No, I'm telling you, they're they're wonderful young men. They're the unsung heroes of our program. They do the laundry, they drag the field, but all of them pitch batting practice, hit fungos, catch bullpens. Honestly, they, they, they're a, I don't know how we would operate the program without the work of the student managers. So we only had 14 healthy players, and you need eight position players to play the game, so we put a student manager on each team. And I thought they, I thought they, performed excellent. I thought they I thought they really helped the game be played well. Giovanni was saying he hasn't really practiced, you know, power hitting really at all. He, was, he said he, even he was a little surprised by that. Yeah. You? you know, he's got some pop. I know he does. Uh, he's just a little inconsistent right now. But the potential you can see is oozing out of him. You know, he's a great athlete. He's got a super athletic body. Uh, he, he's, he's a good outfielder. He's, he, you know, he can run. And he's got some occasional pop like that. We don't want him to do that on a consistent. He can't, he's not capable of doing that on a regular basis. But what he is capable of being is a really good line drive hitter, get on base, steal bases, a great defensive player. So, you know, we're going to get him into the games as much as we can. And, and uh, he's going to have a good future at LSU. Seeing Josh have a night like that has to be his 
big as anything that's happened this far. I tell you, Josh looks so good. You know, he his body is lean and it's quicker, and everything is you know uh, fast twitch with him. He, he had terrific at bats. He made all the plays in the field. If you know, I may, you know, he was a little heavier last year, and that might have been, put some undue strain on his back. You know. And so he's made a real concerted effort to make sure he's eating correctly and, and, and um, you know, doing his strength, back strength and core strength exercises so that he can stay healthy. He looked like a really good prospect tonight, you know, I mean, for the major league draft and also for our team for next year. Imagine if we'd have had him all year last year and he played like that. It would have made a huge difference with our team. So, you know, you just, when one guy goes down, you know, you, you can take the next man up attitude, but the truth of the matter is your best players <laughs> go down, it's gonna have an effect on your team. You know, so it was great to see Josh back out there playing great and hopefully he'll stay healthy and play like that all year for us. How do you think the loss of those two pitchers is gonna affect the beginning of the season? Stoltz and Hilliard? The loss of which two pitchers? Uh, Stoltz and Hilliard, are they still injured? Well, Storrs, is, Storrs, okay. Storrs had surgery and, and uh, we don't know when he'll be back. But I expect Hilliard to be ready for the spring. We actually have several pitchers that miss spring, uh, miss fall practice because of injury. So, you know, we'll be getting them back, you know, slowly but surely, and hopefully all of the ones that are hurt will come back. Yeah, Hilliard will be a big part of our staff if he's healthy and ready to go like he was last year.